My wife is dead. <laughs> so you're probably wondering why I just laughed at a guy mourning his wife. Well, Dead Island 2 just came out after a couple of delays. But before I play that, I wanted to go back and revisit the original. But I don't want to just go and play it, then fork over £50 or more. No. I wanted the full experience. This is the story of me 100%ing Dead Island. Please enjoy. This almost killed me. Trunken head, broken legs, body parts on the concrete. Cut them up, butcher stab, gators in the swamp. Red light, leave them dead, running like a track meet. Scared of nobody, what your motherfuckers want. Starting off, the only achievement I already had was from breaking down a door in one hit from 2020. Hello, survivors? I'm so sorry, Tim. I'm so sorry. You okay? Instantly, I gained the achievements for not playing the game for 28 days, as well as joining a co op game. This seemed easy, so why not make it harder? Display enemy health, we don't need to know that, right? It's gonna be a nice surprise when they die. <laughs> Damage done, who cares how good our <laughs> weapons are? They could be bad, they could be great, who the fuck knows? Enhanced navigation. Do we need this? Do we really need to know where we're going? Maskin and I went out into the resort and solved every mission we could. And honestly, it was a lot of fun. Oh. What are you, rat? Yeah. I am Sam B. I'm just gonna steal the money. I'm not gonna do anything. They I call me wanna... Sam B because I will be there for you. Oh, nice. That was stupid. While I was playing through Act 1, we got achievements for killing with 10 different melee weapons, completing 5 and later 25 quests together, as well as customizing weapons, getting 50 kills in a car, getting 250 blunt kills, and driving 10 kilometers. And I can't no, wait to get, get on the road again. On the road again. Oh. Things were going great. <laughs> then we reached the city. Then we reached Act 2. Oh my god. This was fucking awful. I got a zombie on me and you can't harm me. Yeah, who do you do, do, bitch? Whilst the beach was relaxing, calm, and fun to explore, the city in Act 2 was unfortunately the complete opposite. I'm dead, you piece of shit! Despite being killed every five minutes because Maskin just ran past the zombies, leaving Sambi to be swarmed by dozens of infected at a time! So How? After you clicked yellow, after How? you clicked, it's yellow. Ow! We managed to secure a few more achievements, including collecting half of the collectibles and completing 75 quests. I got half of them, hey! But before we move on, I have to note that these missions were some of the worst I have ever played in a video game before. It was insane! Oh, God. <laughs> I had to make four oh more! God. Why? <laughs> Tell us immediately. Don't make us run around. You know about Serbia, don't you? Doesn't Serbia have free heads? Oh no, are you, are you telling me there's free? We still need to activate the speakers in the town center. Anything else? Right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh my god. You know, that's why you know what loves you. That's why you get the name Garrett. And after that, they sent you to the sewers, a new environment where the zombies constantly respawned. Which on its own would have been fine if you didn't have to go through them eight times in the space of 20 minutes. Do you know what's more fun than going through the sewers, Maskin? Yeah, but what else? Having to go all the way back through them again. After spending eight hours in this glorified hellhole, we got out of there, reached level 25, <laughs> level up, <laughs> and headed out to the fresh, open jungle. The jungle was indeed a breath of fresh air, varying up the enemies and changing up the missions, giving our spirits the lifts that they desperately needed. Thanks. My wife is dead. <laughs> Aside from laughing at widows, however, this act was fairly uneventful, with us only achieving two challenges, getting 50 human kills and saving five people. What was that for? Save five people. We only save five people. <laughs> <laughs> that is bullshit. <laughs> that is bullshit. We saved like 20,000. <laughs> Fuck off. And with that, Act 3 was done, and it was off to the prison for the story finale. The 
final act was extremely emotional, building up to the climax where we run around. Well, was there uh, really <laughs> any need? <laughs> Kill some people. Oh, we're back here again. <laughs> you saw me going to pick it up to throw it to you. <laughs> You're allowed <laughs> Oh, what? Got betrayed. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. And finished the game. Easy to kill millions of faceless nobodies, isn't it? Stay back. Please kill her. Human. I don't mind. It had taken 12 hours, and we had done the hard work of perfecting this game. We must only have a few achievements left. I have 27 achievements to get. Well. What the fuck? Finally. So Dead Island is made up of three main parts. The main game, a story-based DLC, and an endless combat mode. How do you think the rest of the achievements were distributed? All of them were farming. This core new story following the antagonist of the game revealing several plot twists. Nah, don't want achievements in that. Let's make you kill the same zombies over and over and over and over. Fuck! You did. Play it in co-op. Reach way 30. Survive five waves on every map. Reach way 30 in co-op. Survive five waves only using your fist. Get 100 kills using fury. Kill one of every type of zombie in a round. Use 100 med kits. You get the point. Even the birds are pissed. This was awful. But finally, after another 12 hours of farming arena mode, we've gone from 21 achievements to 48. Over double by sitting there and clicking my mouse. Are you serious? After that fun experience, we headed back to story mode to finish off three of the most time consuming achievements. Completing Act 1 with every character, finding 120 collectibles, and discovering every location on the map. I started by choosing Xian and speed running the main missions Picking up collectibles as I went to try and learn their locations. Then this happened. Oh, nearly there. Achievement. 120 out of 140 collectibles. Turns out you don't need 120 collectibles all on one save. Just overall. Thank the zombie lord. I then carried on and completed the act with Zan. So, uh, can we have Ruffin? Then Perna. So. Come here often. And finally, Logan. Do you like jazz? Until eventually. Oh, yes. Okay. Fight for life. Right for life. I can't even read anymore, man. That one achievement took over 10 hours. But it wasn't the most tedious. No. That was finding the final two locations that I'd missed. Would you have no way of knowing where they are? They could be in the resort, or the city, or the sewers, or the jungle, or the laboratory, or the prison, or a hidden interior location. I found extra missions. Leave it be. Easter eggs. Oh wait, he's a bad guy too. Oh, I thought I thought I was saving him. What the fuck? Why is Jason in the game? He just stabbed me. Okay. I've got the chains. Why does it have pitched the families? This is genuinely so creepy. But none of these counted. Until finally, I found them. Oh, there we go. We got it. There and back again. Oh my god. We literally just had to walk along the seafront. And if you're curious which crucial bit of the game I'd almost missed, it was this. And what was there? A cool boss. A secret weapon. A cheeky Easter egg. A shovel. I hate the city. Look, you want ghouls like a fucking platoon. If everybody dies, I'm see your ass real slack. Now, we've reached the final six. Possibly the worst six achievements I've seen in a long time. They include reaching level 50, looting five exceptional weapons, 
playing with a team of four different characters, completing five quests with three other players, play with ten different players for at least 15 minutes each, and finally, survive 15 waves with analog controls. Now this is where I had to make a decision. Oh, you were pissing. I'm so sorry. Up until this point, the achievements had been fun and revealed new content, killing zombies in challenging ways, discovering new content, playing with different styles, and now we'd seen everything. Done everything. Completed everything. These... These are just bad. I played with Sambi for over 25 hours and reached level 36. And after two hours of pure grinding, I had made it to level 38. This was not fun anymore. Looting five exceptional weapons is just RNG, with the easiest way to do it being through an exploit on wave 25 of the hard arena. Not gonna happen. Playing with other people? The game is 10 years old. It's dead. Island! And the final challenge. Survive 15 waves with analog controls. Analog controls. I'm on a fucking computer! Yeah. <laughs> you think I'm. <laughs> See that one? <laughs> 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 what? <laughs>